This title is a title effects plugin from VideoStar. We will start the installation. Don't insert the dongle at this point. Insert the installation CD and click the Fist title setup. I'll run it from my computer as I have downloaded the latest version from fisttitle.com. Click Next. Then the dongle driver will be installed. When this window appears, you will be prompted to insert the dongle. Insert the dongle in a free USB port. Let Windows detect it and install a driver for it. Only continue if you see the Your new hardware is installed and ready to use message. If you don't get this message, insert the dongle into another USB port. Choose your language. In this window, you can choose the path for the FIST title installation. It is recommended that you keep the default path. Click Next and then click Install. You will get this window to install DirectX. It is recommended that you leave this selected. The setup is completed. Launch Edius. Go to the title icon and check if you see this title. If you want to make this title your default titler, go to Settings, User Settings, Application, Other, and choose this title from the default titler drop down. Under Source, Duration, you can set the length of a new title and if the title needs to be the duration between an in and on point if you have set this on the timeline. Under the Tools menu, you will see a new entry which says Edius Title Template Library. The key combination for this is the Control key and F12. Here you can choose one of the many templates included with this title to start you off. I'll insert a background and play it back. When you double click a title, the mini fist title editor will open and it lets you modify an existing title. When you use shift double click, the full fist title interface opens. Now I will show you how to create a title role in fist title. Select Scroll. I have prepared a role in Notepad and will import it. In this role, you would want the functions and the names under the functions in a different color. This title uses the title and content to describe these two. So a title is the header and everything under it is the content. Control click select all the headers. When you have selected them all, select set as title. You'll see that all the titles, headers, have a different color. Select all the text by pressing Control A. Click Create line by line text. If I want to change color, I select Select Title, go to Coloring Properties, and select the color I want. I can also select the content, adjust the color, outline, and other properties in one go. Now we will look at the spacing. Since I already set my title and content, I can use the functions 
in this part of the palette. I can do Title to Content Spacing I can adjust the space between content in the content to content box. I can also adjust the content to title space. The last thing you should do before you exit is go to the scroll settings and have a look at the start roll and end roll. I'll change the end so that the roll exits the screen. As you can see, the title rolls very fast and is shorter than the clip I had researched for it. It is easy to adjust the roll. Double click the title. The Minifest title editor opens. You can see the duration here. Move the cursor forward on the timeline. As you can see, the duration indicator shows the change in duration. Click the duration icon to apply this new duration to the title. Extend the roll to its absolute endpoint by dragging it. Now the roll plays back at a slower speed because it is longer. This title has a powerful graphics engine. It has a full light and particle system, 3D capabilities, handwriting and subtitles to name a few. The possibilities reach as far as your imagination.